Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Bethany Apostolic Community Church here in San Pedro. We give God glory. We give God honor. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to give God praise. Wherever you are, in your living room, in your bedroom, wherever you are, you need to give God glory. Hallelujah. And give God praise. Hallelujah.
said on many occasions I'm saved but I'm human hallelujah nobody is above making mistakes so anybody that's walking around this planet acting like they ain't never done nothing wrong just because you don't do crap that don't mean there's nothing wrong with you well, y'all not gonna help me just because you don't drink that don't mean that there's nothing wrong with you hallelujah just because you saved Hallelujah, don't mean that there's nothing wrong with you. The Bible lets us know that we all dealing with something. That we all, y'all not helping me. I said we all have come short of the glory of God. 
Every last one of us. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody perfect. It's not an excuse to do wrong. Are y'all listening to me? You can't use that as an excuse to do wrong because it's not an excuse. Hallelujah. The Bible tells me and Peter that you don't even have to stumble. <laughs> I say the word of God lets me know I don't even have to stumble. But I'm drawn away by my own lusts and entice. So we want to pray for that family. Pray for the Woods family. Pray for the Ellis family. That the Lord will undertake and will comfort them in the time of their grief. If you don't grieve, if you don't grieve with somebody when it's your turn, don't get mad if somebody don't grieve with you. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. Because everybody, everybody gonna have to sit on the front row. Y'all not gonna help me. I said everybody gonna have to sit on the front row. And every time, every time somebody dies, guess what? You move up in the line. Don't get, don't get it twisted. Every time somebody dies, you move up in the line. Hallelujah. You don't know when God's coming. And you don't know when he's coming back for you. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Bible tells us to be ready. Are y'all listening to me? I said the word of God tells us to be ready. But we know not the time nor the hour that the Son of Man, that the Son of Man cometh. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come on behalf of your people on today. I pray your blessings upon them now. Father, I pray that you would forgive us for every sin that we have committed, even on the day. And I pray, God, that you are set and you're faithful and you're just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, I ask you if there's anything in my heart that needs to be removed. Somebody said, search my heart. Hallelujah. And if you find anything that shouldn't be taken out, and strengthen me. I want to be right. I want to be saved. And I want to be whole. Hallelujah. Speak to my heart, Holy Spirit. I said, today, Lord, speak to my heart. Hallelujah. Take this stony heart and give me a heart of flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that is not according to your will, Father, I ask you to take it out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we ask you to bless the food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our spiritual bodies that we may grow thereby. Hallelujah. Give us understanding and that which you would have us to know. And for this, Father, we're grateful and thankful. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. Every heart say amen. And give God a praise right where, give God a praise right where, right where, right where you are. I've been dealing with the, with the series, um, the struggle is real to love. Amen. Amen. The struggle is real to love. And I ask uh, the saints to read 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 13 and read all 13 verses. And I've gotten so many uh, uh, comments on, um, on just reading that text. When you read it one time, it, it really you don't really get the fullness of, or the understanding of God Amen. that you have to know. Amen. Amen. So therefore, you have to read it again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I told y'all to make a checklist. Yes, sir. Amen. Of that which was in there. Yes. That all of us need to work on. Amen. 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 I'm not pointing no fingers at nobody. The Bible tells me to judge not, or, or I will be judged. Yes, sir. Right. 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 But. The chapter 13, those 13 is a checklist yes, to let us know where our love really is or if we truly have the love of God in us. But before but before I get there, and, and, I, and I may not even get there because God has given me so much uh, to deal with, he says uh, another narrative on this particular text or this particular subject is it's unfortunate that the church has bought into uh, the thinking that love means that I'm happy all the time. Oh, it got quiet in here, so I must be saying something good. <laughs> that, that I'm going to be happy all the time. Um, uh, 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 but let's be real. Uh, there are times, uh, well, 
when there are days when happiness is not on the agenda. And, and I don't care um, uh, what we do to, uh, to get happiness, if it's not on the agenda of that day, uh, uh, your, your, your labor is in vain. Because <laughs> there are some days that you're not going to be happy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. But we have bought into the uh, the narrative that if I'm saved, Come on now. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on now. Break it down. And I'm and, and uh, the blood is uh, uh, the, the the blood is running over in my veins. Hallelujah. Every day I'm going to be happy. <laughs> not so, not so. But I'm here to tell you, understand something, people. If I'm saved or not, mm -hmm. happiness on this earth, on this planet, Come on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. is not long lasting. My, 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 my. Yeah. Nor is it permanent. Yeah. I wish I had some help in here. <laughs> in, in other words, in other words, just because I'm happy right now, don't mean in the next 15 minutes. Then I'm not going to be happy. Yes, sir. Because happiness is a fleeting emotional state. Yes, yes, yes. I wish I had some. I, I knew, I knew. I, I, and, 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 and it does not happen all the time. So, as saints of God, I, 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 want, you to, I want you to understand as saints of God, we're not going to be happy every day. So don't buy into the narrative that, that if I'm not happy, that don't mean I'm saved. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Our God, our God, our God personified love. And as Jesus Christ, he wasn't happy all the time. I said our God who personifies love. He is the true essence of love. Yes, yes. Huh? As Jesus Christ, he wasn't happy all the time. Amen, amen. Am I helping somebody? Yeah. I said he wasn't happy. If anybody should have been happy all the time, it should have been Jesus, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. I mean, that should not have been a day if, if the narrative is true. There should not have been a day that Jesus wasn't happy. <laughs> Some y'all look at me straight. <laughs> so if Jesus wasn't happy every day, and I'm gonna prove it to you, Amen. I'm not talking off the top of my head. I'm gonna prove it to you. All right. If Jesus wasn't happy all the time, why do you think you should be happy all the time? <laughs> uh huh. You can't tell me Jesus was happy when he went into the synagogue. Come on now. When he saw those money changers in there, y'all quiet on me. He didn't go in there and started speaking in tongues. No. He, why? Because he wasn't happy. And, and his action proved that he wasn't happy. Because it provoked him to go in there and turn over tables. Now, if he was happy, what was he doing turning tables over? That said, to me, that he wasn't happy. Amen, amen. When he saw the money changers desecrating his daddy's house, That's right. huh? It disturbed him to the degree where he did what? He turned tables over and called them money changers, didn't he? Yeah, Y'all not gonna help me today. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, you can't make me believe that 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 Jesus was happy when he went to the grave site Hallelujah. of Lazarus. That's right. Put it down. And here, here, he he started to cry. Right? Amen. Right? Not cry because he was happy? No. No, no he wasn't happy. Amen. He was crying because of the unbelief of yeah. people that yeah. he thought should have known him. Yeah. Amen. 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 So that means that you can hang around people that they don't know you and you don't know them. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. He, he wasn't happy. Amen. Because they saw. Jesus do miracles. They saw Jesus do all of these things and they didn't believe him when he said that Lazarus was going to get up. It didn't make him happy. 
I know y'all ain't heard nothing like this before. And, and, I, I know it, Jesus wasn't happy when he was on the cross. Amen. Dying for the sins of the world. That's right. yeah. And he was being mocked. Y'all yeah. not going to help me today. I said he was being mocked. Yeah. Yeah. Dying for the sins of the world. In other words, the world didn't care Amen. about what he was doing. Right, right. And they laughed at him. Yes, they beat him. They, yes, they put scorns of, of thorns of stone on his head. Yes. Mocking him because he said he was the king of the Jews. Now you can't make me believe that he was happy. So what does God tell us? What does God tell us? Uh, he said, he said that, that, that that you weren't going to be happy, but in, in Philippians chapter 4 and verse number 11, he said, Paul says here, he said, not that I speak in respect of want. <laughs> For I have learned, this is a learned behavior, I have learned in whatever state I am, therewith to be content. He didn't say be happy. Right, right. <laughs> Y'all quiet on you today. He didn't say be happy. He said, I've learned how to be content. Yeah. And the reason why the Lord is not blessing a lot of us uh, the way that we want He we want Him to bless us is because we have not learned to be content in the state that we're in. Amen. I'm not saying be content in your trespasses and sins either. I'm talking about being content. In, 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 if I have a one-room apartment, yeah. I'm content. Hallelujah. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help us, help us. Hallelujah. If my car, if, my, if, if I got a beat-up car, I'm content. Hallelujah, I'm not envying and I'm not strife because of something somebody else has. Hallelujah, but I'm content in that which I have. And if I give God glory and pray for what I have, God has the ability to give me just a little bit more. I hear people talk about the, the prayer of Jabez and about the Lord enlarge my territory. I hear that, I hear that. But why is he going to enlarge your territory when you ain't doing nothing with the territory he gave you? If you're not grateful for what you have, don't look for God to bless you with something else. Am I helping somebody here today? Hallelujah. Thank you. I may not have everything I want, but I'm thankful for what I got. I have learned. I have learned that whatever I have to be content. Am I helping somebody here today? Hallelujah, hallelujah. So don't buy into, don't buy into the narrative that every day you're going to be happy. Hallelujah. I'm trying to help somebody. I hope somebody's listening to me. Uh, uh, that, 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 that every day, every day, you're not going to be happy. I, I feel sorry for it and, 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 and dealing with couples on uh, couples on off times separate because one says um, they don't make me happy my mama break it down <laughs> break it down break it down break it down why would you put a burden on somebody yes, sir. Amen. to try to make you happy that don't make no sense because it, I will steady me on the wheel like the like the like that. What you call it? Like the hamster. Uh, that's right. Because I make you happy today. That's right. The same person that you say make you happy today is the same person that say they're going to make you mad tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Uh, you don't put that burden on nobody Amen. to make you happy. Amen. You got to be happy in and of yourself. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? If you ain't happy, how somebody else going to make you happy? Yeah, they'll buy you a car, but okay, when the car breaks down, then they're going to be mad at you right, right. if you don't decide to get it fixed. Right. Y'all not going to help me. Hallelujah. You don't put no burden on nobody to make you happy. People separate. Why? Because he didn't make me happy. The devil is a lie. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. If there's no happiness within you, ain't, can't nobody make you happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Happiness is an emotional state. And you just re I just told you that it's a fleeting state. In, in, in other words, it's not there all the time. So for you to expect somebody who's just as imperfect as you to try to make you happy all the time, it's a misnomer. It's not going to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're not gonna, you don't make Jesus happy all the time. Now why do you expect somebody to make you happy all the time? Jesus tell you to do something and you ignore him. I said Jesus tell you, y'all quiet. I said Jesus tell you to do something and you ignore him. Hallelujah. He tell you to forgive and you ignore him. He tell you to give and you ignore him. Hallelujah. And then one day you decide to do something a little extra. You want God to give you a tip. What about all the times when he told you to do something and you didn't do it? He could have took you out right then and there. But his grace is sufficient. I wish I had some help in here. I said his grace looked beyond your faults. And he saw your needs. That's why you enter his gates with thanksgiving. And enter his courts with praise. And be thankful unto him and bless his name. Because you should be dead. Yeah. Hallelujah. But because of the, the true essence of love on the inside. You should be grateful. I don't know about you, but I'm grateful. Because, because I realize I've missed the mark on many times. I'm not showing. I'm not here to tell you I'm perfect. I'm not. I need God to help me every single day. Hallelujah. And can I help you? You can't help nobody if you think you're perfect. You lying to yourself. You deceive yourself. We all have sinned and come, and come short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. And until we walk in repentance. Hallelujah. Until we walk in the fact that I need God's help. Hallelujah. We're going to be walking with an arrogant and proud spirit. And the Bible says God resists the proud. I said he God ain't saying that. I said he resists the proud. He has a problem with the proud. Proverbs, he said, I hate a proud look. Hallelujah. And the only reason why you're not dead now is because God gave you another shot to get it right. Hallelujah. He can cut you off right now. I said he could cut you off right now. But he loves you. And he wants to give you another. Anybody glad that God gave you another chance? You know you're a booger. I said you know you're a booger. I, you know you're a booger. And God said I'm going to give you another chance. Where people have kicked you to the curb. God said, I'm going to give you another chance. Amen. And if anybody ought to be happy, it should be us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I've learned that, that true love, true love can hurt. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 I said true love hurts because the scripture says in Hebrews, scripture says in Hebrews chapter number 12 and verse uh, number six, Thank you, for whom the Lord loveth, Woo. that means continue to love, yes, sir. even right. in our backslidden, rebellious Thank condition. Y'all yes, quiet on me. You yes, shout out. I know this is God. Uh, your rebellious, uh huh, Jezebel spirit, yes. controlling demon. Yeah, y'all quiet. It's all right. Yeah. Manipulating demons. Hallelujah, that you allow the enemy to use for you to get whatever you want. Hallelujah. He said, those he loves and those that are about you, what does he do? He spanks you a little bit. I don't know about you, but the Bible talks about that a lot. It talks about the, the, the man that despised chastening. You're a bastard child. If you despise chastening, 
You can't take the chastening of your father. You're a bastard child. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Book. Book. Yes, sir. Huh? Because God loves you. And, and, and I'm going to try to help. I'm trying to help. We, we as parents, we as parents, we as parents, uh, 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 we don't enjoy whipping our kids. No. Amen. 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 Come on now. Quiet. Those that do, they, they have, there's a mental issue. Right. Come on if you enjoy beating your kids, right. there's something wrong with you. Yes. And you really need to get that checked out. Amen. Amen. But, but normal parents don't want to have to discipline their children. That's right. They expect, when I tell Brother Johnny to do this, go on and do it, Brother Johnny. Right. Amen. And you have no problems when you tell your child to go to, and he does it. I have two boys. I have two grandsons. I can tell one to go do something and he's gonna do it. I can tell the other one, as long as I'm looking at him, <laughs> then he does it. Are right. y'all hearing me? Yes, I have two sons, I have two grandsons. They're exactly like one, do it. If I tell, what's the name do it? I don't have to worry about it. If I tell another one do it, I have to walk <laughs> behind him <laughs> to make sure that he does what I tell him to do. <laughs> So as parents, we don't we don't want to have to spank our children. Amen. Amen. But the Bible says if you don't do it, you don't love them. Amen. Don't get mad at me. The scripture said that mischief is in the heart of a child. But the right of correction will drive it far from it. Hmm? Spare the rod. Spoil the child. Amen. You know these scriptures, but y'all scared to put your put the, put the belt on your kid. I got a back scratcher at the house right now. And all I have to say is tell one of my grandsons, go get the back scratcher. And before I touch him, he starts singing. He starts crying. Because he knows that uh, Gaga said to go get the back scratcher. That means that Gaga going to get somebody going to get a whooping. Huh? But guess what? Those kids love me to death. Because they want to be disciplined. They, they don't want to feel that they can do whatever they want to do. Y'all not saying nothing. And, and get by with it. As a child of God, you should not want to grieve the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Ghost tells you to do something, you got to do it. Don't... Do what the Holy Ghost tell you to do because he loves you no more. He's concerned about you number two. I, I, my, my cousin, I, I got I, I know God. How many of y'all know God is really real? This is not a joke. God is real. I, uh, last, a week ago, two weeks ago, I, 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 I was going through my phone and I saw uh, a cousin's uh, phone number. I hadn't talked to my cousin in months. And God put it on my spirit to call her, to talk to her. So I called her. And she informed me that my first cousin was had cancer, stage four cancer. And I'm, I'm, I didn't even know it. My grandson didn't tell me. I didn't know it. The Spirit of God told me when I got back to Los Angeles, she said, go by and see your cousin. And you know how we do. We crow, crow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost told me, go by and see your cousin. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all not hearing what I'm All saying. Right. I went by my cousin's house, and he was in hospice. Yeah. I didn't even realize he was in hospice. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I prayed for him. I left some blessed oil for him. And, and I told his wife to anoint him. And... Two days later, he was gone. Oh, y'all don't think what I said. I said two days later, he was gone. So so what, what does that say? What what does that say? How I would have felt if I didn't go when the Holy Ghost told me. 
I'm trying to I'm trying to help y'all today. That, that when the Holy Ghost tells you to do something, y'all not looking, y'all not paying attention to me. I say when the Holy Ghost tells you to do, why would he tell you to do it and he don't want you to do what he told you to do? Are y'all hearing me? God loves you. With your dirty self, God loves you. With your rebellious self, God loves you. Hallelujah. He knows about you. He knows how sly and, and, and you are. How, no, not you. How we are. Right. He knows that about us. He but he wants to see if I can trust you to do what I tell you to do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His love knows that you're not going to do it. Because he knows the end from the beginning. Yes, but he loves me in spite of me. And that's why you ought to give God glory and praise because he loves you in spite of you. In spite of you not doing what he tells you to do, he loves you. In spite of you not giving the way he tells you to give, he still loves you. In spite of your unforgiveness in your heart, bitterness in your heart that you carry for folk, God still loves you. Hallelujah. That's why he deserves your, your praise. That's why he deserves glory. That's why you deserve honor because you should be dead. Hallelujah. And you have to admit that within yourself and do better. Give my mouth shout out. You got to do better. You got to do better. Touch yourself and say, Lord, I got to do better. I got to do better. I know, I know, I know, Lord, but I got to do better. I, I've been slack, Lord, but help me. I want to do better. Hallelujah. And some of y'all going to do better. I said some of you going to do better. Because it's in your heart to do better. Hallelujah. Some of you ain't, but some of you going to do better. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is trying to help us, saints. He understands the struggle to love is real. He understands what you're going through. God, it, it, nothing, nothing that you're going through is getting God, getting by God. He knows uh, you have an issue with family members. And regardless to those issues, you have to learn how to be content. I'm not going to let nobody control me. Huh? I love you to life. Ain't nothing you can do about it. And that's the way you have to be. You have to love people in spite of their, their negativity. You got to love people beyond their, 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 their spiteful uh, spirit towards you. Yeah, they got to pay for that. Are y'all listening to me? They got to pay for that. And when they act ignorant towards you, you ain't got to worry about that. They got to pay for that. Are y'all listening to me? We worried about what folk, uh, what folk do to us. The battle ain't yours. We say amen, but we still take 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 it personal. You know the devil is trying to kill you, trying to kill you, trying to steal your joy. Hallelujah. And if you understand that, then you don't look at the person that's coming at you. You look at the devil that's doing the leading and guiding. Amen. So you have to pray for them. My Lord, my God. I have to pray for my family members. Oh, don't quiet on me. You say pray for them that despitefully use you. Didn't it say it? So if that's the case, that that's the case. Until you start doing what you're supposed to do, they gonna keep doing what they doing. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said until you right. start to do what you're supposed to do, yes, they're gonna keep doing what That's they're doing. Right. Your job is to pray for them. Y'all quiet in here. Hallelujah. I said your job is to pray for them. Thank but you don't know what they did to me, Pastor. I don't know what they did. But I know that God is the judge. Yes, I said, I know God is the judge. And God keeps good records, like Mother Candace said. He keeps good records. And all of y'all that think that you're going to get away with doing the stuff that you're doing, guess what? 
you're not getting away with nothing. I'm not trying to scare nobody. I want you just to do right. If you do right, then ain't got you know ain't got to worry about nothing. But the fact is, most of us ain't doing right. Now, 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 in the in the book of in the book of of of, of First Corinthians, it, it was a knowledgeable church. Yes, yes, sir. Amen. But they were spiritual babies. Did you hear what I said? That, have you known somebody that was so smart they were stupid? There are people that have good book sense. But I said, but ain't got no common sense. Oh, I wish I had. See, y'all quiet over y'all make me feel. I said they don't have they they're smart as a whip. But they have no common sense. I, are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. They say Einstein was one of the smartest men they ever walked, but he couldn't drive a car. But he was he wasn't he wasn't all there. Are oh, y'all listening to me? I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. We uh, it was a powerful church, but there was a lot of envy and strife in that church. There was a lot of jealousy in that church. Uh, 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 Somebody would get up and start speaking in tongues, and then somebody else starts speaking right, in tongues. Right. Whatever God does, is He's going to do it in decency and in order. Yeah, yeah. I was in a church service uh, with Bishop McMurray uh, some years ago, and he had Bishop Roy Brown uh, coming from, uh, I think, New York. And he was preaching. He was having a great service. It was before Bethany built the new church. It was Bethany on the corner. And so uh, this man was... was the Holy Ghost used this man. And this woman jumped up and started speaking in tongues. And another lady started speaking in tongues too. Okay, come on now. Uh, uh, Bishop, uh, Bishop, Bishop Broad Brown says, there's a lying prophet in here. Yeah. Called it out right then. He said, there's a lying prophet in here. Hallelujah, because God ain't gonna have two people speaking in tongues and nobody have the interpretation. Y'all quiet on me. Right. Hallelujah. And after he got through, he identified the one that was not doing the truth. Now, this was the same thing that was happening in the Corinthian church. People would get up and start prophesying, and then somebody else would get up and start prophesying. People would start giving them a word of knowledge, and somebody else would start giving Because they were jealous of each other. But when you read the text, when you read the text, I don't care what kind of understanding that you have. If you don't have love, it don't mean nothing if you don't if you don't if we don't discipline our children out of love because believe me they can find they can they can sense it and that's why you don't whip your children while you're mad you don't whip them when you're mad you, you, you calm down and you come back and, and do what you got to do uh, 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 but 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 there are people who who want to think uh, 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 want you to think they're more saved than you are, yeah. mm -hmm. and so they want you to think that the anointing of God is on you uh, more than it's on anybody else. They speak to God more than the pastor. Uh -oh. I, I said they talk to God more than than God talks to the pastor. You know that ain't right. Amen. You know that ain't of God. Are, are y'all hearing me? And so, so, so Paul, Paul here was trying to instruct them. Jesus. I don't care if you can speak in thirteen different languages like me. If you don't have love, it don't mean nothing. Are, are y'all hearing me? Hallelujah. We, we have people uh, 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 that supposedly are so anointed that they can't be touched. If you're that anointed, you shouldn't be here. Yeah. Right. You should go on home and be with the Lord. Yeah. Because you can't help nobody if you're that anointed. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. We, 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 run into, we run into problems where even if the pastor thinks he's more anointed than anybody, then, then that causes problems. Because guess what? The pastor has flaws too. 
Now, a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of pastors, not gonna say that because a lot of pastors want you to think they're perfect. Can right. I help you today? Please. Ain't no pastor perfect. Right. Are y'all listening to me? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm getting some bad emails. I don't care. I, don't, I ain't scared of y'all. Right. None of us, none of us, none of us are perfect. So none of us. We all are saved by grace. If but for the grace of God, we'd all be crackheads. Y'all don't believe what I'm saying. If all, if all, if but for the grace of God, we all could be walking the street. We all be alcoholics. Are y'all hearing me out there talking to the telephone pole? Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah! But the grace of God. Y'all not helping me. I said the grace of God is what's keeping us here today, right now. Hallelujah. It's the Holy Ghost that lives in us and moves in us and has his being in us. That's allowing us to be right here. Y'all living with stuff that people are dying with. It's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. I said thank God for the Holy Ghost. Y'all ain't saying that. I said thank God for the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. And it's the Holy Ghost that allows me to be compassionate with mankind. Amen. Yes. Because but for the grace of God, I would be just like that. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I, don't, I don't boast. I don't walk with my nose up at nobody. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I could be in their shoes. That's right. Amen. But the Lord has blessed Hallelujah. us. Hallelujah. And we're sitting in Thank heavenly Lord. places right now Lord, in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So what Paul is trying to tell us and what Charles Paul is trying to get us to see here today, I don't care what kind of gift you have. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't care what kind of gift you have. Because the Bible says gifts and callings come without repentance. Amen. Right. So, so, so God can use a, a, a devil to do what God wants done. Yes, yes, that don't mean you're going to be saved. Amen. All right. Didn't you use a hearted Yes. 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 Didn't you use Rachel? Amen. Yes. Yes. And she was a harlot, right? Yes. What's a harlot? Uh, What's a hook? A hooker. But God, but God used it, didn't he? Y'all yes. sitting there looking out. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. He used it, didn't he? Huh? Her house. When, 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 the, when the walls of Jericho came down, her house stayed up. Because God used her. To save those angels that those men wanted. Oh, no, it's in there, ain't it? It's in there, ain't it? All right. So what I'm trying to get y'all to understand, trying to get you to see is, uh, I don't care what kind of gift that you have. Amen. And, and unfortunately, we, we run to gifts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We run to faith healers. Uh -huh. We run to these uh, uh, crusades. We run all, all to, to those kind of things. When the power of God, if He's the Holy Ghost lives in you, you have the same power. Yeah. Amen. Y'all quiet. Amen. I said you have the same power. Amen. And the same power that they have, you have. Amen. And all you have to do is rebuke that spirit in you, and God will heal you, God will deliver you, God will set you free from whatever chains that bind you. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. So so it was a it was a, a it was a uppity, uppity church. They thought of themselves more highly than they ought to. And God had to do the do the writings of Paul. Said, uh, uh, "I don't care uh, what kind of miracles you do. Amen, amen. Those miracles uh, don't mean nothing if it ain't come without love." Amen. Right. Are y'all hearing me? Now I, I see time is going on, but I, I, I want to admonish you to go back and read that that chapter one more time. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, read those thirteen verses one more time and get your checklist. And, 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 and see where you are yeah. when it comes down to your relationship with God. Amen. Amen. Do I love like I'm supposed to? Yes, sir. Sometimes we, uh, with the gift, uh, sometimes it comes with arrogance. Amen. Amen. I said sometimes with the gift that we have, I can say this from personal experience. I was a choir director for over 40 years. It was a gift that God gave me. I could direct the choir with music, without music, it didn't matter. I could do it, because it was a gift. Yeah. 
but I got arrogant with that gift. I'm telling on myself. I, don't care. I said I got arrogant with the gift. I thought I could do what I wanted to do, and the gift was still working. But what did happen? What happened to Samson? Samson played in the laps of the Delilah. He lied three times, and God said enough was enough. The Bible said he woke up thinking he could do the same thing and didn't even know that the Holy Ghost was gone. I'm telling on myself, I don't care. I'm trying to help somebody. Just because you have a gift, that don't mean that God is with you. He'll use that gift to help somebody else, and you'll go to hell. Am I, am I helping somebody? Are, are, are y'all listening to what I'm saying? You can't think of yourself more highly than you ought to. I don't care what kind of gift you have. You don't let people pump you up to make you think you're better than what you are. You better love the. You better let the love of God work in you, have His being in you, and whatever He gives you to do, you better stay humble with it. I said you better stay humble with it, because the same gift He gave you, He can take it away from you. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah! God put an invest. He made an investment in you, and He wants a return on His investment. And if there's no return on his investment, he will take it away and give it to somebody else. Am I, are y'all listening to me? God loves you. He loves you. He loves you. In spite of you, he loves you. And you ought to give him glory and honor. And whatever God tells you to do, you better do it. Hallelujah. I'll come, come back next week. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Lord, make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Lord, lift his countenance upon thee and grant thee peace. Let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Go in peace and sin no more. We love you to life and there's nothing you can do about it. In the mighty name of Jesus, you all have a blessed week. We will see you on Monday at our 8 o'clock prayer in Jesus' name. Every heart say amen. amen. Give God a praise on today. Hallelujah.